Hello everyone, this is the anime Narakuen's Phantasm 4 here, back again with another DVD update video. So in this update, I'm going to be showing you 5 DVDs plus 1 Wii game, which I got from CEX in Bridgen today. And I've also got one char I've also got 3 DVDs, which I got from eBay yesterday, which arrived in the mail. I, am I have one that um, arrived in the mail on Monday, and, um, and two of them which arrived in the mail yesterday. I have one left to come, which is the disappearance of Harhi Suzumiya, but I'll be showing that in a in a in a separate update. So uh, yeah, I've also got one DVD which I got from a charity shop as well on that same day. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? And we're going to go through them rating by rating, as you may have guessed. So anyway, on with the video, shall on with the video. Let's get to it. So here's the first one, which is Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated Volume One. Yep, by Kids WB. And yeah, this DVD contains the first four episodes from season one. And I have watched it this morning. And it was actually a really, really good DVD, actually. It was really, really well done. Yeah, it's got some, like, great videos. Great villains. Sorry, not videos. Great villains. Great um, characters. Like, like obviously, the Mystery Gang themselves. And yeah, great casts. Great acting, all of it's just very well done. Um, I don't know if I'll be getting the rest of them, but you know, this one possibly probably has the best episodes out of them all. I've also got another Scooby Doo DVD which I might show you. It's the What's New Scooby Doo um, series. Well, I only have one What's New Scooby Doo DVD because that was the only one they had in stock. This one I got from eBay. This one on the other hand I got from eBay. So. So anyway, on the front here we have Shaggy and Scooby-Doo themselves holding ice cream and being huddled together by the slime mutant who, who is about to looks like he's about to throw slime on them. And they they're inside Crystal Cove, the magnifying glass. And there's Daphne, Velma, Daphne, Fred and Velma on the side curb watching them, watching them, watching the whole scene happening, getting stuck, scared by slime mutant as well. Um, so yeah, it's the front, spine, and the back. Episodes are Beware the Beast from Below, The Creeping Creatures, Secret of the Ghost Rig, and Revenge of the Man Crab. Which, Revenge of the Man Crab was probably one of my favourite episodes, actually. Yeah, Revenge of the Man Crab with um, Skipper Shelton was a really good episode. And yeah, that other episode with um, George Avocados, I think, who's the unmasked villain yeah that was also a good episode as well i think it was from the creeping creatures i think so anyway here's shaggy and scooby-doo themselves again and the slime mutant and some scenes and is there a running time on there hmm. oh yeah 88 88 minutes of prox and there's a desk and I know another person who also owns this DVD has um, has the same DVD, but um, however the case is slightly different and it was, it was recycled. I know this because he's done an update on this once and, you know, I felt bad for him because, you know, he had a recycled case, but this one on the other hand is its original case. Also, if you notice um, on the front cover here, these ice creams are supposed to resemble as fruit Myers, like they're, they're like... They're, like they are in the episode um, Beware the Beast from Below, but however the, the these instead of instead of green they're yellow like they're supposed to look like ice cream or something, but they're actually fruit Myers. Uh, I know fruit Myers are supposed to be green, which is the color of the slime mutant, um, but instead the artwork is yellow. But yeah, that's just weird. But anyway, still good DVD though, very well done. And now, so anyway, here's the next one, which is What's New Scooby-Doo, Volume 2, Safari So Good. Four Fantastic Adventures from the Hit TV Series. And yeah, um, th yeah, this was the only What's New Scooby-Doo DVD they have in stock. So, um, they didn't have um, Space Ape at the Cape or Lights, Camera, Mayhem. But um, they did have... Um, um, Gentlemen, start your monsters. 
as well. But, you know, I wasn't really interested that, with that one. So I decided to pick this up instead. But, yeah. Um, I may plan to get Space Ape at the Cape and um, Lights Camera Mayhem um, sometime soon. Don't know about the rest, though. But um, those, those three were I might be interested in. So anyway, on the front here we have um, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo once again holding onto a vine as they're being like surrounded by crocodiles and a hippo who's opening his mouth and there's a monkey who's holding on to Scooby-Doo's tail. Yeah, um, that this is one of the um, What's the Scooby-Doo DVDs which you, can, which you can also get on VHS as well along with um, Volume 1 and Volume 3. This one's Volume 2. So anyway, here's the front, spine. And the back. The episodes are It's Mean, It's Green, It's the Mystery Machine, Reva Ross Regus, um, Roller Coaster Ride, and Safari So Good. Which which is quite weird because um, Safari So Good is supposed to be like the first episode, it's the main like name of the DVD. So if anything, it should be the first episode and they probably put um, It's Mean, It's Green, It's the Mystery, Mystery Machine last. But oh well, what are you going to do? And it's 83 minutes, so that's um, five minutes shorter than Mystery Incorporated. I mean, this came out before Mystery Incorporated, but yeah. And there's a desk with um, a butterfly that's land landed on Scooby-Doo's nose. He's in the rainforest. And yeah. yeah, sorry about what happened here, guys. Um, Anyway, that's all the Scooby-Doo DVDs, a.k.a. the only two U ones. Now we move on to the PGs. So, yeah. So here's the next one, which is K-On! The Complete Series. Yes, I finally managed to get my hands on a series of K-On! I mean, I still have the movie, but, um, you know, it's good to have the series as well. And I'm currently on the first episode right now where Yui Hirasawa first joins the club joins the club and she's pretty nervous about it and I forgot the whole plot again. I may watch it again for some to jog my memory. Um, um, I, I like to tell you who's on the front here but um, I, I haven't had the chance to get to know some of the characters. I mean I know Yui Hirasawa pretty well so yeah here she is playing the guitar and her other band members with the instruments of their own. One's a, one's a pianist, one's a drummer, one's a one's also a guitarist as well and yeah it contains two seasons which is actually pretty cool so yeah here's the front spine and the back welcome to the light music club so yeah here's some pictures and there's Yui Hirasawa again and it's um the feature running time is 327 minutes but the special feature running time is 35 minutes approximately Here's disc one, disc two, disc three. Oh, sorry. Here's disc one, disc two, disc three, and disc four. Sorry, that's my bad. Focus. Anyway, next we have is Heidi High series one and two. Yeah, this is this is um, a very this is a vintage. Um, BBC sitcom as far as I know and um, I have heard of it and I hear it's quite interesting and so I may like watch it at some point and yeah there's a bit of damage on the case there when I got from CEX but oh well the discs should still play fine though um starring Paul Shane, Ruth Maddock, Sue Pollard and Simon Cadell and Jeffrey Holland so it's also a cover as well so here's the front, spine, it's also by Universal as well. Just the back. Oh, and I, I remember that catchphrase. Hello, campus. It was when the announce announcement came on, after the chime. So anyway, the episodes are Hey Diddle Diddle, which is the pilot episode, Desire in the Mickey Mouse Grotto, The Beauty Queen Affair, and The Partridge Season. And Disc 2 has the episodes The Day of Reckoning, Charity Charity begins at home. No dogs allowed. If wet in the ballroom. Yeah, if it wet in the ballroom. And disc three has the episodes Peggy's Big Chance, Lift Up Your Mind, On with the Mont On with the Motley Motley, how do you say it? say it? 
A Night Not to Remember, and Sausages or Limelight. It's also written by Jimmy Perry and David, Cro David Croft, which Jimmy Perry also did Dad's Army as well. So that was a really good show, Dad's Army. Yeah, instant classic. Um, the film is on for six hours and six hours and four and it's on for six hours and forty eight minutes. Now, here's disc one, disc two, and disc three, which are once again in a really messed up order. So, but I may plan to rearrange them once I make the video. with me for a moment. There we go. Next we have is Goodnight Mr. Tom. Um, starring John Four, a scene on ITV based on the award-winning children's novel. Now, um, I've heard pretty little about this um, film. Um, I hear a lot of people say it's quite sad, but still... It's a very good, they say it's a good film as well. Um, I, I mean, yeah, I have heard of it. And um, it looks pretty interesting at the same time. So I may check it out at some point. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Looks quite old as well, which is really good. It's also got the old PG certificate on there as well. Um, winner, most popular ch TV program. Well, considering how this is a film, um, I should say more popular TV film. Since, you know, it makes more sense. So here's the front. Spines, also by Colton. And the back. There's also um, an ITV DVD release of this as well, but oh well, I got the um, Colton DVD. So that's cool. Is there a running time on there? Oh yeah, 101 minutes. And there's the desk. And once again, it's transparent. And now on to the 12 rated DVDs. Yes, that's today's um, highest rating in the DVDs. So yeah, no 15s, just 12s. So anyway, let's get on with it. Here's the next one as well, which is um, An Ain't Half Hot Mum, The Complete Collection, created by Jimmy Perry and David Croft. Yeah, um, if I recall correctly, this is the spin-off of Dad's Army. Well, they're, they're both from BBC, and it's about the war as well. well I mean, there's like different casts, but you know, um, similar storyline, same like genre, war, you know what I'm saying? Well, it may be different. I, I know it seems different to Dad's Army, but you you know what I mean. As also, um, um, when me when when me and my dad would like to oh, never mind. I'm not gonna give away my life story. But yeah, um, I was actually talking about this, and um, I I was actually I actually be, I actually wanted to check it check it out as well. It looks pretty interesting, actually. I mean, if I like Dad's Army, then. Surely I like it as well, like this one as well. I hear he's got a Welsh, one of the soldiers in here is Welsh, so that's pretty funny. And I have seen some clips of it. Um, I have seen the one where he says, Oh dear, oh sad, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty funny clip. And I, I did think at first this was from Dad's Army, but no, it's from that show, and then Half Up Mum. So yeah, that's why I decided to get it. Anyway, it's the front, spine. And the back. And, um... It's, uh, 1,647 minutes. That's the max running time. The feature running time, I meant, sorry. So, here's disc 1, disc 2, disc 3, disc 4, disc 5, disc 6, disc 7, Disc 8, Disc 9, yeah, that's about 9 discs altogether. Sorry, I didn't. Alright, now I really need to pause for this one, along with the next box set, which I might show you now. 
So, yeah, there we go. And then hop up now. And use the next one as well, which is um, the Vicar of Dibley, the complete collection. Yeah, starring Dawn French as the Victor, Vicar of Dibley, I think that's what she plays. Yeah, I've been. I, this is another series I've been wanting to check out as well. Looks really interesting, and I, I have heard from a lot of people it's quite funny, so I thought, why not check it out? And, you know, Dawn French is a really good actor. I mean, I haven't heard from her much, but, you know, she's a really, really good actor. But yeah, that's why I decided to get it. So anyway, anyway, on the front here, we have Dawn French as the Vicar of Dibley herself, along with um, these guys down there, which I forgot the names since I haven't watched the series yet. But I will I will definitely watch it at some point. It looks really, really good. So yeah, here's the front, spine, upper spine, top, bottom, and the back. So, uh, DVD 1 has the complete first series, DVD 2 has the specials, um, anyway, the episodes are on DVD 1 are Arrival, Songs of Praise, Community Spirit, The Window and the Weather, Election, and Animals. And the specials on DVD 2 are The Christmas Lunch Incident and Easter Bunny. Um, DVD 3, the complete second series, Love and Marriage, has the episodes Engagement, Dibley Live, C Celebrity Vicar, and Love and Marriage. Um, DVD 4, the seasonal specials, has the episodes Autumn, Winter, Spring, and Summer. Uh, DVD 5, which is a very Dibley Christmas, has the episodes Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. No pun intended. It's also by Tiger Aspect as well. And, it's, and the feature running time on here is um, 8 hours and 46 minutes. Oh no, um... I need to... Oh, I hadn't realised this came with all these volumes. Where do I, where do I begin? Oh great, now I disorganised them. Now, oh, there's the first one. So here's the first season. The running time is um, 2 hours and 56 minutes. And there's the desk. Yep, all of which are my favourite um, BBC comedy series. In fact, my favourite shows in general as well. Yeah, I do like to watch a lot of um, Brit classics, I do. Yeah, honestly, you can't beat them. They're really, really memorable. Very catchy theme tunes, um, great characters, and all that's why I love them so much. But yeah, so anyway, on the front here we have... Ronnie Barker, um, Del Boy, as uh, played by the good old David Jason, and um, Captain Blackadder, played by the good old Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, I love Ronnie Barker as well. He's a really funny actor as well. In fact, all three of them are just as funny. And yeah. Introduced by Ronnie Barker. Yeah. There he is on that. And there is a bit of dirt on the cover as well, but I got this from a charity shop, so what could you expect? Should still play fine, hopefully. Anyway, here's the front, spine, and the back. It's also got Morecambe and Wise on the top as well. Yep, yeah, it's a compilation of all, all the best of British humour on the small screen, including the two Ronnies, Morecambe and Wise, Only Fools and Horses, Black Adder, The Likely Lads, One Foot in the Grave, The Good Life, Yes Minister, Hancock, The Last, Last of Summer Wine, Step to and Son, and some others do have them. Um, which I've seen half of them, but I haven't seen The Likely Lads, um, Yes Minister yet. Um, I've seen The Good Life, but only a little bit. May get it on DVD at some point. You never know. As for the rest, I don't know. Um, so anyway, we have, uh, Morecambe and Wise, um, Victor and Margaret Meldrew from One Foot in the Grave, another one of my favourite BBC comedy series, and... Is that Hancock? Um, looks like it. Or is it Last of Summer Wine? I think that might be Last of Summer Wine. Yeah, sorry. It's one Last of Summer Wine. And it's um, 108 minutes. I mean, I may be wrong, but if any of you guys recognise this, then please let me know in the comments and correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, it's 108 minutes. And there's a disc. And inside, we got adverts for other DVDs available to buy. Like, um, 
some Only Fools and Horses DVDs, which I pretty much have the complete collection now of Only Fools and Horses. Um, also, absolutely fabulous, League of Gentlemen. So there's uh, Basil Fawlty on the leaflet. Um, Blackadder, great comedy moments, but in a different covering. One Foot in the Grave, Lee Evans, which I, which I do actually have a few Lee Evans DVDs, actually. But not the BBC one, but, you know, the Universal DVDs. And um, we've also got Faulty Towers as well. Oh, and also Alan Partridge as well. Speaking of Alan Partridge, he's on a promotional DVD, which I'm going to show you right about now. Along with some other ones as well. Anyway, last up we have is the promotional DVD, which is more great comedy moments. Favourite clips from the best of contemporary BBC comedy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, featuring Alan Partridge, Red, Red Dwarf, Red, bleh. Featuring Alan Partridge, Red Dwarf, Harry Enfield and many more. So I'm guessing this bloke here, beside, in between Alan Partridge and Kevin the Teenager, is probably... One of the characters from Red Dwarf, I may be wrong again, but if he is, then that's that's good to know. And yeah, this is another one of the few DVDs to only... that This is only one of the... another one of the only um, Harry Enfield DVDs to be released. I mean, you can get him on VHS as well, but you know, it'd be a lot more fun to watch him on DVD. They haven't released Harry Enfield and Chums or Harry, Harry Enfield's television program yet on DVD. So that's unfortunate, but oh well, it's good to see him on this one. So anyway, on the front here we have Alan Partridge, the geezer from Red Dwarf, who I don't know the name of, due to the fact I've never seen a series yet, forgive me for missing out. And um, we've also got Kevin the Teenager as well. That's so unfair! I hate you! <laughs> yeah, that's my Kevin the Teenager impression. So anyway, here's the front and the back. Um, so we've also got um, Only Fools and Horses, um, Alan Partridge, Victoria Wood, the Red Dwarf Crew, Harry Enfield, Reeves, Reeves and Mortimer, Bottom, The Young Ones, etc. And here's the back as well with um, these two guys in between the logo who I don't know the name of, but I'm assuming they're from another show which I haven't seen. Um, Reeves and Mortimer, I think. Yeah. Anyway, we've also got um, Eddie and Richie from Bottom, another one of my favourite comedy series. Yeah, Bottom, what a comedy. Such a hilarious comedy. Honestly, Aid Edmonton and Rick Mayer, what can I say? Greatest duo of all time. Honestly, they're like, they're like my favourite duo ever, honestly. I, and, a big rest, and a big rest in peace to Rick Mayer as well. Bottom will never be the same without you. We've also got um, another character here, and <laughs> Harry, a good old Harry Enfield. Yep, Harry Enfield is another one of my favourites as well. Yep, that was really good. And what's really interesting about this promotional DVD is got is that it also has the to entertain promo at the start as well, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, promos like um, Little Britain, League of Gentlemen, mm. and what were the others? Red Dwarf. Um, um, Catherine Tate, those are the shows I can remember on there. There maybe there's a lot of that I've forgotten due to the fact that I've seen them. I've seen the ones I've mentioned though. And it's 65 minutes. Sorry guys. So anyway, there's a desk. Sorry if you can't see it, it's really hard to get out the cover when you're recording. Oh, oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> anyway, there's the disc. And oh boy, this calls for putting the camera down, putting it back in. There we go. And now, I saved the best for last. The Wii game, which I'm about to show you. So, let me show it to you now, without any further ado. And here's the Wii game which I bought from CEX and we're gen today, and it's um, WarriorWare Smooth Moves. Yes, this is the very first um, WarriorWare game I've ever got in my collection, plus it's a Super Mario game, because, you know, Wario is obviously one of the stars in Super Mario Brothers. So, yeah, I also consider it a 
proper Mario game. And I've been wanting to play this as well. I ha I have seen like um, uh, one or two like gameplay clips of it, and it looks like a really really fun game. Honestly, I'm looking forward to give that a shot. It's, um, it's I think it's a mini game, mini game sort of game as well. So, yeah. Anyway, on the front here we've got Wario, and a Wii remote. It's also Peggy Seven as well. So, anyways, the front, the spine. And the back. Wario's got a whole new set of moves. So yeah, here's Wario again, holding a Wii remote. And some screenshots of the games. Um, I think you got like, this is one of the games you got like, um, hold the Wii remote towards yourself or something. This is one, probably one of the instructions on here. And each, each particular one has a name like, um, the motor and pestle, um, the elephant, the remote control, the dumbbell, etc, etc. Wario, however, is blocking the other one, so it's hard to know. Here's the game desk, and this time it's blue. And a leaflet, which features worlds and maps, characters, and... Here's Mona, screenshots, some guides, etc, etc. And underneath here just shows like guides and yeah. Oh, sorry. So that so that's it for this DVD and game update. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did. Um, which video game, which DVD and out of all six is your favourite? Please share your answers in the comment section. And if you like this video, and ha ha have, um, and do any of you got any other guys out there own Warrior Wars to move moves? If you do, please share your answers in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.